So I just woke up and they said they're still poisoning me. They said that's why my throat would feel sore and um, I'm trying to get myself on camera. Um, that's why my throat would feel sore. That's why my voice would be scratchy. So the other day they were like, why don't you keep clearing your throat if your throat is scratchy? Well, if they're causing the throat to be scratchy, why don't they stop causing the throat to be scratchy? They still insist that I have to see these videos in my head because they said they've been doing this for 30 something years. First they told me, and you can look back in the video I did. First they said they created the videos to show each other now they said they were showing me these videos. So the whole point is it seems like this group of criminals put me in some whatever they call program where they have to show me videos and they said I'm one of the few people to continue to live. They went to a list of like elementary schoolmates of the elementary schoolmates of the elementary schoolmate who either died or who um, developed illnesses and it was a lot of them. And I'm one of the people who should have been on that list. And now that I am developing an illness, I guess I am on the list. Then they said there was someone from like high school also. I don't know if they're making this up just to make themselves seem like they were doing this bef before and just adding people or whether it's actually what happened. The other thing I wanted to tell you folks is that as I'm going on camera, they're like, well, you di diluted the brand. That was the whole point. You know, they wanted to make money off me. Once they see there's no money to be made off me, what was the point? Like, you you guys said you spent 30 years, 40 years, whatever, trying to do this, and there's no money to be made off me. So that was my whole point. You know, um, the other point that I want to make, and I'm trying to keep myself on camera. I don't know if I'm on camera. Um, the other point I wanted to make was that they were upset because they're like, oh, you told the world, uh, that guys did like you. Well, there were people in the world who would have guessed. I mean, there are guys who like a lot of different people. And they're like, well, we don't, we think you look like you're a snotty person. Okay, well, who cares? Who cares? That's my point. Like, who cares? I think the reason they're upset is because now you can tell. They wanted to pretend that they were talking to me while I was sleeping. And that's why they did a lot of this. And when you get up from being asleep, your voice sounds like this. Sometimes your voice will sound different. They said, oh, I used to make my voice sound deep. That would be ridiculous, especially since I worked at the time for the phone company. If I if I was ridiculously making my voice sound deeper, they would have been like, you can't work for us <laughs> because that would have been ridiculous. But what I'm trying to do is tell you all the ridiculous things so that you can see just how ridiculous it is and you understand what I'm dealing with. This is not mind control. This is not, they said, oh, we, we, we can predict exactly what part of your body we target will itch or hurt because they were the ones targeting it. That's my point. That's my point. This was never about mind control. This was never about something positive. They said that they called it um, reward and punishment and then it became positive punishment, but it was always about punishment. It was never positive. So I wanted, I'm going to spend all my time now exposing them.